The holy great martyr Theodore the Recruit was a soldier in the city of Amasia and Pontus on the coast of the Euxine Sea under the command of Prepostatus Brincus. Saint Theodore was ordered to offer sacrifice to idols, but he proclaimed his faith in Christ the Savior in a loud voice. Brincus gave him a few days to think it over, during which time the saint prayed. Theodore was accused of setting a pagan temple on fire and destroying the idol of Rhea, and so he was thrown into prison to be starved to death. The Lord Jesus Christ appeared to him there, comforting and encouraging him. When he was brought before the governor Publius, Theodore boldly confessed his faith, for which he was subjected to new torments and condemned to be burnt alive. The great martyr Theodore mounted an enormous pyre, and after he made the sign of the cross, the wood was lit, but the Holy Spirit cooled the flames. Saint Theodore stood in the flames, praising and glorifying God. Then he gave his holy soul into God's hand, and the onlooker saw his soul ascending to heaven, according to the author of his life, who was also an eyewitness. This occurred in about the year 306 under the Roman Emperor Galerius. Unharmed by the fire, St. Theodore's body was buried under a widow's house in the city of Ifkaita, not far from Amasia. Later, his relics were transferred to Constantinople to the church which bears his name. His head is in the city of Gaeta, Italy. Fifty years after St. Theodore's martyrdom, Emperor Julian the Opposite planned to commit an outrage upon the Christians during the first week of Great Lent. He ordered the city magistrate of Constantinople to sprinkle all the food in the marketplaces with blood which had been offered to the idols. St. Theodore appeared to Archbishop Eudoxios in a dream and told him to inform all the Christians that no one should buy anything in the marketplaces but to eat boiled wheat with honey instead. In remembrance of this occurrence, the Orthodox Church commemorates the holy great martyr Theodore the Recruit each year on the first Saturday of Great Lent. On Friday evening at the Divine Liturgy of the Pre-Sanctified Gifts, after the prayer of the Ambo, the canon to the holy great martyr Theodore composed by St. John of Damascus is sung. After this, Kaliva is blessed and distributed to the faithful. The celebration of the great martyr Theodore on the first Saturday of Great Lent was established by Patriarch Nectarios of Constantinople. The troparion to St. Theodore is very similar to the troparion for the prophet Daniel and the three holy youths. The contachion to St. Theodore who suffered martyrdom by fire reminds us that he also had faith as his breastplate. In iconography, St. Theodore the recruit is depicted in four different ways, either alone in military garb battling a large snake or together with St. Theodore the commander, standing upright or riding horses. He always wears his military uniform. We pray to St. Theodore the recruit for the recovery of stolen articles.